Hello, my name is Jim Olson and this is a short video on factoring differences and sums of powers. Okay, let's start with differences. So of course, we all know from algebra that x squared minus y squared is the difference of squares. This factors into x minus y times x plus y. Well, we can increase the exponent. So let's say we have x cubed minus 27. This is x cubed minus three cubed. This is going to factor into a binomial that has two terms and a larger term. The first binomial is going to be x minus three. And the other one, I'm going to start with x squared. By the way, all the terms are going to be positive. Then I'm going to be decreasing the power on x. I have x squared, x to the first power, and I'm going to be increasing the power on the second base, which is three. And in my third term, I'm going to have x to the zero power, which is one, and three squared, which is going to be nine. So I might simplify this a little bit. X plus three times X squared plus three X plus nine. Let's say we have Y to the sixth minus T to the sixth. This is going to be y minus t. Then my terms are going to be having powers of y successively smaller. I need y to the fifth, so when I use distributive property, I will get y to the sixth. Whoopsies, heavens problems with my uh, recording here. There we go. Now I'm going to have y to the fourth times t to the first plus y to the third times t squared plus y to the second times t cubed plus y times t to the fourth plus t to the fifth power. Now, when you apply the distributive property, you have to multiply through by y, and you have to multiply through by the opposite of t. And basically, half the terms are going to be positive, half the terms are going to be negative, most of the terms are going to be divide, uh, subtracting out and we will end up with y to the sixth minus t to the sixth. This is the difference of powers. Let's look at the general result. This is a little bit messy to write down, but it's important to understand notation in mathematics. And it often does add some additional information. If we have a power and the power is going to be a positive integer, a to the n minus b to the n, we're going to have a binomial a minus b, and then we're going to have the other polynomial with decreasing powers on a and increasing powers on b. We have lots of patterns here. In the longer polynomial, all the terms are positive. This might be able to be factored further, but for our purposes in this video, we're just going to factor it in the first step. Now let's look at the sum of powers. x squared plus y squared. This will not factor.
in the case of sums of powers, it will factor if we have an odd exponent. For example, x cubed plus y cubed will factor. Let's go ahead and do a more sophisticated example. Let's say we have 8a cubed plus 125t to the sixth. This is the sum of cubes. It's going to be set up with a binomial and a larger polynomial. In a similar manner that we had above, we're going to have the base, which is 2a, and we're going to have 5t squared. And since the original binomial was addition, this is addition. Now over here, I'm going to have decreasing powers on 2a. So this is 2a quantity cubed. And this is 5t squared quantity cubed. So 2a quantity squared would be 4a squared. Now, it's important now in order to get our canceling to work out that we have every other term positive and every other term negative. So we use minus 2a times 5t squared plus, now 2a to the zero power is going to be 1. I don't need that, but I do need 5t squared squared. So let's do a little bit of simplifying. 2a plus 5t squared times 4a squared minus 10at squared plus 25t to the fourth. And I will let you multiply this out to make sure that this checks. Once again, we get some positive terms, we get some negative terms. Many of the terms cancel out, but the terms that do not cancel out are going to be 8a to the third and 125t to the sixth. Here we have the general result. If n is an integer and n is odd, a to the n plus b to the n is going to factor. We get a binomial with addition, and then we get a polynomial that starts with a positive term, and then every other term is negative. This has been a video on factoring differences and sums of powers. In the next video, I'm going to show how we can apply this to find the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence, which is called a geometric series. I'll see you in the next video.